We're here representing the Qual Seekers Network, looking for Qual, spotted tail Qual specifically. We've got detection dogs from the University of Sunshine Coast here working with us today. Their detection dogs are trained to find spotted tail Qual droppings. So we're going to make use of their nose and see if we can't find some scat. So Baxter's um, about six years old, he's a rescue. So he's been trained to look for koala scats and recently we've um, retrained him into doing qual scats as well. When Baxter gets onto a scent, he sort of follows his nose and never gives up. When he finds a scat, he'll um, do a drop and then look at us waiting for his reward. So normally when we get onto site, we put a jacket on and that's part of a association that is, is ready to go to work and then we'll put GPS collars on him and off he goes. The spotted tail quoll is threatened and endangered across Australia, so they're really uncommon. And they were historically found in this particular region. The last real hard evidence of a spotted tail quoll in Logan area was way back in 2005. Last year we, we conducted a detection dog project out here as well, and we found some encouraging results. So this, this year's a follow-up of that. Logan City Council, the environment team have been fantastic with, with this project. They've been on board from the start, helping us with funding opportunities, with land access, trying to get spotted tail coal conservation into the minds of the Logan community. So the, the, the Logan City Council have been fantastic along this process.